Now I want to apologize, this is my old camera and it's not as good at the detail, but you can see pretty good what's going on. These are the kind of things that are inside the human body in our organs. You don't see them, you see the organ as a big thing. Now, not only that, inside of all of this stuff is extremely fine architecture in the electron microscope range. But you can see how patterned everything is. And this is what I show on the Earth, and then I show it down into the size it would be on an electron microscope. Okay, I've made this claim for years now that everything I can find is biological. And I'm saying this is part of some kind of a filtration system in some kind of an organ, and that's what you're seeing here. That's not just little runoffs and hills and valleys. You see that? Look at how exactly patterned that is. And all of these little ripples in here. Those are not just sedimentation and runoff. And look at the colors. These are transition metals that cause these colors. And that is what you find in organ tissue. You see this? Why is this white over here and this is black and red over here? Look at these little swishes, 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 but a bit, but a bit. That just didn't happen by accident. Look at that. This is, and look at this over here. You see that? You see it all running off of here? That's not an accident, my friend. That is biology in action. All right, and I'm going to show you in some of my books. I have some very, well, let me show you. All right, you're probably not going to see this all that well, but there is extremely fine details in every organ, how it absorbs and emits and all that stuff. It, it, you know, when we look at the surface, that's nothing. When, it, when you get deep inside and you look with electron microscope, now you got something to really look at. The surface, I understand that, and I see these surfaces everywhere. It, it, you know, it just happens. It's biology. I, it's, I can't account for it, although, although I look at the ancient texts and they talk about these things. But you look at this and with the things that I either showed you or will show you, it's biology. Everybody knows about the fish and the dragon. These are things that are here. I can't account for it. They are here. Come up. you got Google Earth. Come up and look at it. That's his fin, and I believe that's the eye. I don't know what that is there. This is the tail, and there's a dragon up here attacking that fish. Here's the dragon's head. His neck runs all the way down. All this is bleed off, the runoff of fluids from a decaying dragon body. And these are the dragon scales that run all the way down his throat. You see it? And all this is just blood that ran off from a gash down here across his throat. And this, this is on an ancient map. It shows there's a dragon laying here with his throat cut from, I think, 1375. Now, he spit something out at this fish. You see all black stuff coming out of there? It's very, very, very nasty. This is almost identical to snake venom. That'll just settle in for a second. You see that? That's what he spit at that fish. And it hit the fish. And the fish suffered severely. Look at this stuff. This is as nasty as it gets. That's just not hills and valleys. And where do you see what happened to the fish? The fish's skin got eaten away. This is his, his fin. It hit there and it came all the way down to here on his back. Well, if you look at this pink area, you see it? It's, it's got a lot of fine little articulation in there. But you, you know, like, who knows what it is? Could just be desert. But up here, different story. Right here is his back, and it ate the top layer off down to the blood vessels. Now watch, it's going to sink in in a second. These are the tiny little blood vessels. You see that? These are the arterial arteries coming down and then feeding off of them. See, this is regular, I, I believe these are blood cells. 
I don't know what they are, but I believe that's what they are. And they were coming down and they fed off here to feed all the tissues around it. And when that toxin burnt off the top level of skin, you could see right down inside like it was just sandblasted. You see? That's not, there's just too much, too much here that just makes sense when you think about it. And, it, and if this is a fish, and he got hit with a dragon spit, which it obviously did, it's pretty toxic. And what is this? Why is this here? Now, is this growth that's growing in here because of the red blood? And that, the red blood makes things grow. It really makes things grow. So I would say this is probably artery. And um, that's all I can tell you. And this fish, uh, fish is huge. I mean, obviously, it's a gigantic fish. And the dragon goes all the way across North Africa, all the way across North Africa. And his tail is over here. You see all those dragon scales still over here? And that, the metals are running out. Metals are in the blood. All right, you see all this right here? This is his tail. the size of that thing and it's attacking the fish and in the ancient Greek coins they have dragons attacking fishes thrown on now one thing I failed to mention was at this particular time it appears that this whole area drained it, it was it, it was watery at one time this is drain off you see here it drained off and created the Cape Verde Islands out here. It piled up here and then it eventually skirted around it. This is an alluvial plain. It's just a flat plain of mud. And I believe this is Atlantis. It's the Eye of the Sahara. I've gotten many videos about that as well. The fish, usually they're in water. I don't know. I, 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 don't look at me for answers. I'm showing what exists, and it is on the surface of the earth. It's not deep buried or anywhere. That's on top of the earth. That did not happen that long ago, in my mind.